all right hi everyone welcome back to another pipe workout video so i'm really sorry but uh i thought i had recorded a routine a 20 minute routine that i uh i've taken from athlete channel but unfortunately i didn't press uh hard enough the button to record on the phone and therefore at the end when i was going to stop the video i realized that uh, the phone uh, didn't even start to record so that was pretty sad and therefore I decided instead of do a warm, warm up uh, routine so uh, I'm gonna show you my exercises my personal exercises that I do to warm up and most of these exercises are gonna be for the rotator cuff so for the especially the three muscles that are gonna externally rotate the shoulder um, you can find all of the things I, I will be saying on Athlenic's channel. Uh, I really like Jeff, his job and what he does. And uh, my dream job is working like he does. So training people, teaching them how to do the exercises, but also having a background of physical therapies. So having the ability to uh, also rehabilitate, all right? So uh, the first exercise I normally do for the, for the shoulders is gonna be just doing this. So just other circles like this so inwards and then outwards with the hands so with the thumbs pointing in all right so something like this and like this uh, and then I'm gonna do the same but this time with the thumbs pointing outwards so like this all right and then like that so just uh, eight ten reps inwards ten reps outwards with the thumbs in, with the thumbs out. Um, and then what I normally do is I'm gonna do this exercise that uh, sadly I can't show you from like this perspective, but it's gonna be like having the, the um, elastic band in front of you, trying to get 90 degrees here with the shoulder and 90 degrees with the elbow, and then trying to uh, externally rotate the shoulder by leaving the elbow fixed so trying to not move the shoulder or the elbow just doing this and this movement so having the elastic band that is pushing towards that so you have to actually do strength to push it out and I normally do that first so just my staying like here all right I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna like that all right so shoulder fixed, elbow fixed, and then you just do this. So you push towards the, so you externally rotate the shoulder by having the, the elbow and the shoulder without moving. And you, of course you do it for both shoulders. Um, then another thing that I do, but this time for the only muscle of the rotator cuff that's gonna internally rotate the shoulder uh, I do the same but in the other side so like this so again shoulder fixed elbow fixed and then you have to try to push the arm 90 degrees and then push a bit more so like that right and then when you in the passive point of the exercise try to really stretch and then go down again so it's the exact same movement but this time the elastic band is gonna uh, pull in that direction so you have to push towards that and uh, that's it so that's the first exercise i normally do for the rotator cuff muscles and then only for the external rotator cuff muscles i'm gonna do this exercise so i will stand in the at the side i will try to keep my elbow uh like glued to my side it's not like if you have the elbow like that it doesn't work right so I always have my elbow here I put my arm so my hand here trying to stick my elbow to my side and then you know just doing this so again the movement having the shoulder the elbow fixed just externally rotating the shoulder and it's very important here to uh, like internally rotate the shoulder first like this and then from here push and externally rotate it so you actually have the good range of motion so you uh, stretch the muscles and then you contract them and again for both of the arms 
Um, and then an exercise I've added just recently, but uh, that is going to be also important to strengthen the posterior uh, deltoid, so the posterior pad of the deltoid and the, the trapezius and the rhomboids muscles is going to be uh, like having the arm like here. So sadly I don't have something to have the, both of the arms in front of me, so I do them separately. So like this, all right. I don't know if you can even see me, but uh, you just have the arm like that. And then when you push, you try to move first, the shoulder just back, so like that. And then you try to push, having the elbow 90 degrees again and the thumbs pointing upwards. So you get the, this kind of movement, all right. And that strengthens the, the uh, posterior head of the deltoid and the, the muscles in the back normally. So I don't even know if you can see me by having the phone right there, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then the last exercise I normally do, but... I will use this time this kind of band. Uh, it's gonna be an exercise for the uh, lower part of the trapezius muscle. So I will place the band like here, all right? Uh, then I, I, I had to go to walk backwards, so I'm just show you the movement, what I'm gonna do. So having the elastic band right there already uh, pushing you, you have to actually try to keeping the thumbs out. So having the shoulders externally rotated, and then you have to push and try to push and uh, like pushing, like you have to throw something over your head and behind. So, you know, like that with both the arms. And if you can, just pause a little in the in this side. So, so push and then try to hold this position and then back again, then again. And during that way, you strengthen the, the scapular muscles and the inferior part of the trapezius. So again, uh, I can make it show you, but I think the phone is not going to be able to record me. So like that, okay. So in this case, the, I'm too close, but it's just to show you. So like that, and then you push. So you try to hold a bit here, then again. All right, like that, and that's it. And those are the exercises I normally do to warm up. Uh, especially for the shoulders and uh, until now I haven't had any shoulder pain on any shoulder issues by doing these exercises to warm up so I hope you enjoy and see you bye bye